a la Madrid. Yes, I'm pissed. Even though we drew, I'm goddamn pissed. Before getting into more details, how can I summarize this game? Obviously, like always, Rodrigo attacking and Rodrigo absolutely dominating Manchester City. That's for sure every goddamn year. And second thing, Manchester City scoring banger after banger against us. And I can't tell you why. To summarize the first half in this goddamn game. <laughs> the most stupid goals I have ever ever seen and an own goal by Ruben Diaz Kamavinga literally shot the ball was literally going there it was going to where Messi's penalty in the <laughs> Copa America final wanted to go which is in the absolute moon ladies and gentlemen but what happened it got deflected from Ruben Diaz and won the left bottom left corner and they scored the goal <laughs> and one of the Manchester City's goals it was goddamn stupid as well they just shot from a free kick literally 50 yards out and it went in somehow we went from the most stupid goals i've ever seen in my entire goddamn life in, a in the first half and in the second half the most beautiful goals ever scored in football <laughs> first goal i'm about to show you goddamn valverde with this <laughs> absolute rocket to tie the game 3-3 three, three. so let's get into what goddamn pissed me off this was Real Madrid's best chance to win today. Ladies and gentlemen, they had their best players literally injured Manchester City. First of all, let's not forget that this was in the Santiago Bernabeu, where they had this goddamn stadium, where they had these T-fuse and they have this the hard-headed fans and the ones that make the most noise. They even requested to close the goddamn stadium so there's more noise coming in and to concede in f we considered in five goddamn minutes. <laughs> Do you know how embarrassing that is? Oh, we're going to show Manchester City and have revenge. Concedes in five minutes. And second of all, Manchester City's best players were all goddamn injured. Kyle Walker, probably the best right back in Premier League history, injured. Kevin De Bruyne, literally Manchester City's best player was injured tonight apparently by food poisoning he ate something in madrid why would you eat why would you go to a restaurant in madrid my brother <laughs> obviously you would get poisoned and third player being injured was erling haaland okay <laughs> before getting into more match details i want to talk about erling haaland he was such a goddamn liability in this match i have to admit this after tonight i will sit here and apologize to every Messi fan. That brother is not a Ballon d'Or winner. That brother is not a better player than Lionel Messi. Now even though Erling Haaland won every single trophy there was in football last season, I still felt after today that Messi did not rob the Ballon d'Or. Now I don't even mind Messi winning that. And that's crazy because I sat here and literally flamed Messi video after video after video. <laughs> but anyways, I know you're probably sat there telling me to shut the hell up and look at the memes. So let's <laughs> look at the memes that were produced today. This one's in Arabic, but it says Lunin versus Ortega. Obviously the two goal... The two goalkeepers of Manchester City versus Real Madrid. If you laugh, you're going to hell. But it really, it really did feel like that. <laughs> Real Madrid lineup versus Man City. Now we saw the match, we know the line. <laughs> Brother, the video is not even ending. <laughs> And what do we have over here? So Manchester City winning the game obviously 1-0 and we all know that one. Probably the scariest thing you could see as a football fan. Even scarier than noodle hair Ronaldo, yellow hair, blonde hair Ronaldo, yes. Even scarier than a 2009 goddamn Barcelona team. If you see these eyebrows being raised, just know. <laughs> That will be the scoreline soon. <laughs> Foden on UCL night. Okay. Saka on UCL night. Hmm, Saka scored as well against Bayern Munich. That was 
No one watched that game, let's be honest. No one watched that goddamn game. <laughs> and Palmer on you. <laughs> Man, always nice to see Chelsea getting the stick, even though they're not even playing in the Champions League. <laughs> My United players preparing for European football. Why are we getting dragged into this? What the hell did we do? Bro, Manchester United is not even in this tournament. Let us alone. It's not enough that you make fun of us in the Premier League every week. You want to make fun of us twice in a week? Is that it? The team. Real Madrid, obviously. The fans. Ooh, <laughs> we have a lot of nations supporting Real Madrid, I can see. And the team. Manchester City. And the fans. Are <laughs> spot on. Absolutely spot on. <laughs> They're arguing over who played worse. And it's a video of... <laughs> and this is what they call the future Zainuddin Zaydan and the future who? Zlatan Ibrahimovic? Yeah. <laughs> and that was the Real Madrid versus Manchester City. Again, the memes were not bad. But let's talk about the biggest joke there is in the Champions League. Yes, yes, you guessed it right. This, this is it right here, isn't it? The biggest joke. <laughs> Are you laughing, guys? Are you laughing, guys? No, it's, no, the joke was not Neuer here. No, 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 no. The joke is that player right there. Arsenal. <laughs> what is even Arsenal doing in the Champions League? I don't even understand. How did Arsenal tie with Bayern Munich? Probably the worst Bayern Munich in the history of Bayern Munich. <laughs> Again. I don't understand. And one of the funniest things that I saw <laughs> is the Champions League's official social media, right? <laughs> you have them saying Parc des Princes, Estadio Metropolitan. Okay, though I tried to do Spanish there. I don't know what I did. <laughs> Stadio Santiago Bernabeu. Okay, that was not Spanish as well. I. <laughs> but the last thing they did, Arsenal. <laughs> Man, Arsenal haven't been in the Champions League for so goddamn long. They forgot the, the name of their stadium. <laughs> Instead of writing the Emirates, I believe it's... Is it the Emirates? Yeah, I believe it's the Emirates. But they wrote, no, Arsenal Stadium. <laughs> like, whatever their stadium is, basically what they said. <laughs> and to end this goddamn video, man, Arsenal fans are crying on social media saying that this is the reason they did not win the game. They're saying this was a penalty. As Manchester United fan, that is absolutely not a penalty. Okay, let's be... Okay, I believe that was kind of a penalty. That should have been given. I don't know. What do you guys think in the comment section? But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video again. A short little video. There was a rant, there was memes, and there was the joke at the end. No, not the memes. Arsenal FC, obviously. <laughs> now, I'll not be talking about tomorrow's Champions League games, but instead, I'll be uploading a short... Instead of that, ladies and gentlemen, what did you guys think of everything I said in this video and in these two games that happened? Let me know in the comment section because I read every single comment and I'll be liking every single comment just to prove it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video, subscribe, notifications on, and see you in the next video. Gracias, amigos.